Hi guys, it's that time again. The Secret Diamond Entrepreneur. Welcome, it's Rachel Phillips here. If you watch my other videos, we're talking about how to generate income within a month. And my other video, I was covering the UK, because obviously I'm from the UK, so I thought I would start with the UK. Today, I'm going to cover India and Africa, typically called the third world country, which I don't believe is a third world country. Everybody's trying to make money and live their purpose. So what better way for you to do that than generating income from home? Now, I'm going to talk about how you can do that in countries like India and Africa. I built my business eight years ago, starting up in network marketing, then I went into helping people brand and market and start their business. It was accidental really, I didn't plan it in my head, it just happened, I was a business studies teacher, but I wanted to spend more time with my young ones, so I was looking for ways that I could do that, doing what I knew, which was business studies, and I bumped into social media, I did the trial and error, did the ups and downs, and eight years later, I've built a successful business. If you want any help in marketing, branding, or starting a business, go to www.socially-social.com. It's my website where I give you videos, lots and lots of resources, and PDFs to help you market, brand, and start a business. Okay, so we are talking about how to generate an income within a month. Now, I love vintage stuff. And I've always loved it since I was a child because I think it's more sentimental. Um, I feel like older stuff has more quality, they last longer. And then like I said in my other videos, the first thing that you need to do is create a PayPal account because PayPal will help you receive the money from eBay, from any other websites that you think you want to start or sell online and it's easy for you to take credit card details and um, payment details from your clients. So before we get started, make sure you uh, get the PayPal account, which is free. Now, but before you decide what products that you want to sell, the first thing you need to think about is who your clients are, what their problem is, and how you're going to solve that problem. Now, you have to think about that, even though you're going out into business and you're self-employed and you're working from home, you still need to think that it is a business. Even though you're not working for someone, the bottom line is that you want to be in profit, you want to make money. But it's also good because what I do is I'm doing my passion, I'm using my hobbies, I'm using my character, my creativity, who I am to make money. And that's one good thing about being an entrepreneur that you can do what you love to do and that's what sh that should be your passion as well if you're thinking of starting a business that you do what you love to do you don't want to start a business just about money because starting a business takes a long time to get off the ground and if it's just about money you won't feel motivated it won't last the test of time if you think about the needs of your clients and how you can meet that need with your product with your services with your time then i guarantee you that you will make money so I like I said I sell shoes online now when I'm thinking about like I guess for example my client first of all I have to say am I selling to a client that has difficulties finding small size shoes now if my clients are people that have difficulties finding small size shoes then I'm going to find products that meet that need if it's clients that are tall and they may, may be a bit more rounder and larger and their size shoes is bigger then I'm going to create and find products to meet that need so obviously shoes in larger sizes so make sure that you think about your clients and who they are what their problem is and how you're going to meet that problem now you could sell I sell we're talking about because I'm an entrepreneur and how I make my money, I sell jewellery. Now I do get jewellery from charity shops but I also get jewellery from wholesalers. If you search online and look at wholesalers, you will find a lot of companies that you can buy in bulk. Now if you don't have the money, try and save a small amount of money for a period of time and then you can go and buy in bulk because it works out cheaper for you rather than buying one at a time. But if you buy in bulk, you can 
make a profit on those products that you buy. One thing I did when I first started out was I visited all my friends and family and I asked what is it that you have that you do not need or you do not want and I got bags and bags and boxes of clothes, of jewellery, of old books, different things like that and then I cleaned them up, I also thought about me vamping them and like what I do as well is that I go to charity shops and I buy bottles for example. You know, it's good for you to be creative if you can use who you are and be creative if that's making food, you love making cakes or you like sewing, you know, why don't you use that creativity to generate an income? A lot of people don't think about that. They're always looking at the grass is green on the other side. But sometimes if you look in your home, if you look at yourself, there's lots of things that you can do and start straight away to start generating an income. Now I got this for I think about 50p a pound and I haven't cleaned it up yet but I'm going to clean up and polish it. But then I just got some um, craft paint and I started painting different parts of the bottle. I haven't finished it yet but once this is finished I actually put it online on eBay and I sell this and I sell it in the vintage category and I sell this for around about £6. Now I bought this for 50p to a pound so I've made a profit to uh, of £5 or £5.50. Okay, so think about revamping it. That's another one I've done with a, a bottle and I've um, coloured it in craft paint and I'm going to finish it off with putting some gold lines into there. Now I'm using my creativity. I love interior design. I did it in college as well as business studies. So that has helped me see me through these eight years because I realised if I use my passion, what I enjoy, that when the money wasn't coming at the beginning it was okay because i was doing something that i loved and then when the money started coming i enjoyed it more it gave me more creativity gave me more space to do what i wanted to do because that's what money does for you really it gives you the opportunity and it gives you more time to do what you love doing now we're talking about how you can generate an income within a month and we're covering countries like india and africa now a great thing that you can do and I think is very good in countries like that is create a market store. We talked about um, finding products like talking to your friends and your family or going online and looking at wholesalers. Why don't you create a market store and then after you've thought about your clients, sell those products. Now if you're in a situation where you see a lot of people travelling from one location in your country to another location and obviously Africa, India, hot countries, you can think about creating a market store and sell refreshments like drinks, a bottle, of, a bottle of water, those kind of things. You know people always when they're driving a long distance you know, don't have the time to um, stop from somewhere because I've lived in Africa before. Um, you know, you, there's no shops around the corner. If you, if there, there was more people actually on the market stalls, then you're actually creating a business. You're also increasing your economy and increasing the area that you live at. And you know, people buy people, and it it it, re it repeats itself. Now you create yourself a business, and you're also helping someone when they're walking a long distance from one place to another. They've got a refreshment that they can drink. Now you can also great thing I know is happening. Um, technology is mobile phones. Now you can get a mobile phone for a really really good price. Now I buy mobile phones brand new and also buy them second hand. I'm not technical, but you can find someone that's technical who can fix the mobile phone and you can come to a deal with them and say, I will give you a percentage of what I make when I sell that phone. So you don't actually have to pay up front for their work. What I do is have an agreement with someone and then once that phone is sold, I'll take my, um, my cut and they take their cut. Now, India and Africa has seen an explosive amount of mobile phones in their country and my husband used to work for car phone warehouse and they had the phones that were out of date, they were out of season, people weren't interested in it anymore. You know, in the West we just chuck up phones like left, right and centre. It was shipped to Africa and India. Now you can find those places and get, if you can't find, ask someone or look online, I'm sure you can find wholesalers that are selling 
phones at a really good price because they're broken. You can take that phone. If you're technical, you can fix it yourself. If you can't fix it, find someone who can fix it and then obviously sell it on. But do remember that you're building a business and you're, it's important that you build loyalty with your clients. So give them a guarantee with that phone. Obviously because it's second hand, give them a three month guarantee or a six month guarantee. So if anything was to happen to that phone or something went wrong, that you're contactable. They can contact you, they can call you, and you know, you, so they will come back to you again, even if anything goes wrong with that phone. Because you are at hand, they will feel more trustworthy to come and buy from you. So think about creating a market store and also thinking about selling mobile phones or going to friends or family and finding products that they don't want or need and start selling that online. Now that's just a quick video to show you how you can generate income within a month from the comfort of your home. And the last thing I will have to talk about, I've mentioned in my other videos, is network marketing. Network marketing is a great way for you to start in business if you don't know anything about business, if you don't know about branding, if you don't know about marketing. I started network marketing eight years ago while I was a business studies teacher and I went online to try and find a way how I could generate income and someone introduced me to some health and weight loss programs and products that I loved and I used and they showed me how to build a business um, from scratch and I find that network marketing is a really good way because you can build residual income and residual income means basically you do it work one time and then that one time will start repeating itself over and over again and you actually don't need that amount of time and energy, energy that you did at the beginning so if you want to know more about network marketing, I'm going to link, leave a link below and I will show you and help you how you can get into network marketing. You've been watching The Secret Diary Entrepreneur, Rachel Abel Phillips, and thank you so much for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, my social media platform, and thank you for watching and have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye.